Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Brenner from Synergist Technologies. Today I'd like to review a couple features, uh, less used features I should say, things that maybe we don't address every day and that is going to be uh, the boss and the decal uh, features. Um, I'm gonna, I put these together because they work in a similar fashion and um, and they leave a pretty a pretty cool result so you see on the screen I have um, have just a simple text and one that uh, people don't know don't use too often is maybe uh, a shape you can also uh, it doesn't always have to be text if you want to emboss so um, let's um, let's get started uh, I started myself with a simple plate and uh, what I want to do is I'm going to I like to do an offset um, plane you can uh, do it right on the surface but uh, I like to just uh, create a plane offset at some distance and uh, work that way so uh, I create a plane I'm going to put a sketch on that plane and uh, I'm going to go to my uh, my text editor uh, let me click right there and I'll put something uh, about 0.75, something a little bit bigger than we can see. And you can uh, you can change your fonts right here if you like. Uh, I happen to have Tahoma. I mean, uh, let's go up to something we typically have about Arial, Arial Black. I think it's a little bit more bold. And um, so something like that. Text here. Again, three quarter inch high. Um, let's see if I can center this. I may have to knock that font down a little bit. Uh, let me grab that. See if I can center this over. Yeah, better uh, better edit that and let's knock it down to. I guess we'll just go down to 0.5. Oops, <laughs> didn't get the T. That's fine. We'll leave the T. <laughs> we'll leave the T there. Uh, I guess I didn't get all the letters on that. But nice, to, you know, that way well, you can see you can. Uh, and I, I do do this from time to time. You can choose certain text to be certain heights. So if I go over here, you'll say it's 0.75, and this is 0.5. So there's something maybe a, a slight mistake. But I have done this from time to time. You can put different text sizes. So if I want to take the H I can move that up to 0.75 right. so there you go <laughs> right. and I put a let's see that's good let's see if I can stretch this out a little bit there we go all right so uh, after that we're gonna just uh, finish the sketch and I'm going to go to my emboss uh, feature up here on the create panel and uh, it's pretty simple this is um, do this you're just going to select the text all right and you're going to choose what type and emboss and grave are on the same uh, same feature let's just do an emboss right now uh, we'll just choose a 0.1 depth and um, you're going to see, this is an interesting, if you don't change the direction, and if I say OK, you're going to see I'm going to get a, uh, a change. So I need to change the direction of where that's going to emboss. And I'll get it right there. So let me uh, take this uh, plane off for right now. Um, let's go in and edit the emboss, edit the feature. And you can see that I'm going to get different effects. I can um, I can engrave it and I'll say OK and you'll see the text is engraved in the other um, effect that we can do here we'll edit the feature is I can choose a color now this I, I always kind of wish this would be a little bit uh, different uh, let's just uh, select I guess black for right now uh, right there all right, and I say OK. Now the only problem, I wish this was a little bit different, but what it does, it only puts it on the face of the text. So it's only going to be, you're going to see the walls 
are not going to be affected. You can select them individually. It takes a lot to go in and get every face and then change that. But uh, And the same effect, if I edit the feature again, and if I want to go to the emboss instead of the engrave, the same feature. It is just on the text surface, not the walls. But even so, it still gives you, I think, a pretty good effect. All right. All right, now, uh, one of the other things I wanted to show um, real quick is that you can do, uh, a lot of people don't don't remember this, or maybe this is something we don't, um, let me just turn that visibility. I'm going to place another sketch on this surface, on this uh, plane. And I'm going to put, um, let me just put a spline in here, I guess. So let's just... Um, All right, something I guess like that. I'll just like create. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset this a little bit. Now this does have to be a closed shape, so this is one of the things that yeah we got to kind of be a little bit careful of. So let's close this with a uh, a rounded end. You can certainly do a straight across line if you like. And I'll finish that. All right. And same process. I'm just going to emboss this. I already selected. And I'll say uh, OK. And there you have it. Let me turn that off for visibility. So you can put a couple shapes on here in enclosed, um, an enclosed shape. It works well. And uh, same feature. Now you can see there are two separate embosses. Uh, and I'm going to edit that and I can also choose a color for this and let's go I don't know how about back over smooth red maybe and we'll change this to be an engrave there we go all right now that's kind of the basis of everything we're going to do here, whether it's uh, an emboss or a decal. So uh, one of the other things, uh, the only other feature we have here is if we want to do a cylinder. All right, so what I did is I just created a cylinder. I have an offset plane started already. Let's put um, a sketch on that. And I'll place some text on there. And let's just, uh, we'll, I forget what this is, better stay 0.5. And um, and let's try this. Now, I'll figure it's a little bit small. Let's, oops. And let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's try one hit, see if that gets it better all right let me drag this out there we go all right so I'll center that up now let's uh, place something on a curved surface not a lot of difference all right I'm going to finish the sketch I'm going to go to the emboss I'm going to select the profile and here uh, I'm going to wrap to face and I think I'm pretty sure with this one and let's try it I, I'm uh, it's asking me to select a face and sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't but uh there it goes if I don't choose the right direction look what it does it puts it on the far end so kind of like extruded all the way around the circle um, I remember the first time I made this mistake I thought it was kind of funny um, so let's just edit and all I need to do is change the direction of that arrow and there it is turn visibility off All right. so whether it's emboss or engrave same just a button push um, the same attributes here I can change the color of the face here um, it works just as well same same methodology And um, I don't know. and we'll say okay. So there you go. 
Um, so that works well. Now, um, let's try. Um, now, if I wanted to um, put a decal on here, it's very similar situation. So, um, whether it's a flat surface, uh, the decal will work the same way as a wrap. So, what I, I thought I'd just put, um, I got a curved surface here, and uh, this might solve uh, a couple different um, situations here. So, this will work the same way whether this is flat, or you can see I've got a bit of a, a bevel surface here. So, let me turn this plane on. And I get a little search light here. Um, and I got this from GrabCAD. Uh, Alexander Voloskikov or something like that, I think, created this um, this part. And I just made a dry part out of it so I could scale it up. It was pretty small. So I created a sketch here. I'm going to place a sketch on the surface. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring an image in. So I'm going to come over here to insert panel. And I got a searchlight and I'm going after the Batman. All right, so I'm going to put my, my Bat logo up here. And I'll place it someplace in there. Right click, say OK. Uh, certainly a little bit too big. I'm going to grab the corner. And let me shrink it down a little bit. I'll grab it and move it about where I want uh, close enough so now you can see that I've got my uh, my bat ID or my bat uh, logo and uh, just for clarity I'm going to turn the work plane off I don't really need it right now so you can see it hovering out here so just like I did the emboss engrave I'm going to finish the sketch I'm going to go to the decal there's a couple other things I can do here, and uh, the first thing is get now. It's wrap the face or chain. Now I don't know if it's the shape or this object, but it will not let me do the wrap the face. So I'm going to select the image. I'm going to select the face. All right, and uh, if I choose wrap to face for some reason, and I don't know if it's this particular shape, it doesn't allow me to choose this um, this face. So I stick with the chain to face. Now the big difference I think is the way it wraps it. This is going to work just fine. Uh, it may cause a minor bit of distortion, but I'm not too, uh, when I did it first, I'm not too worried about that. So I'm just going to say OK. And there you have it. So uh, it comes up, it wraps up pretty nice. Now uh, I found this. Um, I think Neil Cross gave me uh, this little tidbit about how to get rid of that white. I wasn't aware of this. I watched one of his videos some time ago. And if I go in and edit this sketch, all right, and what I can do is go in and find the image. I'm going to right click on the image. And it's, I know it's out of the, the block here, but um, it's out of the screen. Down on the bottom says properties. So this is the image properties. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a mask. And this is going to just, I'm going to leave it set to white. I want it to get rid of the white area around um, around the, the image. And I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to finish the sketch. And it takes that out. So that works pretty nice. I wasn't aware of that. So uh, kudos to Neil Cross. and. Um, it doesn't work with all images. I'll give you that right now. Um, I think as Neil pointed out, it's got to be a fairly high quality image. Uh, a lot of times it leaves some remnants around the outside. But uh, regardless, I thought it was a nice little tidbit because we almost always have logos that are on a white background of some sort. And it kind of messes things up. So uh, there I have it. Nice spotlight with my uh, bat logo. And uh, that's it. Uh, they're pretty easy. They both work uh, in the same manner. So if I wanted to place this image on a flat surface, it just would have been a projected surface, and it works uh, works great. So uh, thanks for uh, for watching. Uh, comments below, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, I welcome it all. So uh, this is uh, Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Um, same bat channel next time. Take care.